Hi Aquarius, welcome in and thank you so much for joining. Be sure to only take messages that resonate and how they resonate for your situation. Energies can be reversed, so keep that in mind if you are cross-watching for an Aquarius. If the messages are not for you, check your other signs or check back next time. So those of you that are looking for the single section, there's a timestamp in the description box below along with the cross watchers. Let's see. So the person that Aquarius is dealing with, what's going on there? What is the message for Aquarius? Okay, so I'm getting you were fully invested in the past. You wanted long term here, Aquarius. You could have been dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, a Virgo, but it's showing that you were really invested. There was some level of uncertainty here with the Seven of Pentacles, but the Ten of Pentacles, Seven of, Seven of Pentacles, you guys were just like ready. You could see this person as a divine counterpart, seeing them as the Empress. You feel the Eight of Swords. Some of you guys feel like you were not good enough for someone. They made you feel insecure about yourself. Death card. There were some fears here, okay? Fearing that you were not up to par or that you couldn't measure up or that you just weren't good enough for them. But Aquarius, you you were good enough. Like the Empress, like I feel like some of you guys are a lot better than you think, but it's almost like your insecurities are either getting the best of you or they did. And you could, it's like you're like thinking that's why it ended or that's why something never took off was because you're not good enough, but that's not true. I, ha I just, I have to tell you, it's not true. Um, let's see. They see you as a Ten of Swords. Why is that? So this is somebody that sees you as having a painful, there's a painful ending here. They ran, they betrayed you by running away. So they're acknowledging that they stabbed you in the back somehow. So I'm getting somebody led you on Aquarius. This person led you on and then ran off. How do they feel? Held back. So I'm just getting like somebody here feels like they should hold back. It's telling me they're trying to protect themselves from the connection with you. They're very protective over their feelings. But guys, somebody, I'm, I'm clearly seeing somebody betrayed you and they're taking accountability. Now, the betrayal could have just been them taking off and running away. But some of you guys, it goes, it goes deeper than that. They got to work it out. The three of pentacles for what they want. We have the strength card and then the eight of pentacles, guys. This person wants to fix it. I'm getting they're wondering if, they're, if, if this is fixable. But it's like they can't fix it remaining held back and they know that so it's like the third pentacles they want to come speak with you they know the only way to rebuild this is to actually come in the devil okay and we have the world so i do feel like this person is telling me that they're trapped somewhere else in another location um tell me more about that I feel like they're experiencing an ending of their own right now that doesn't have anything to do with you, guys, is what it's telling me. This could be the ending of a job or the ending of a relationship they're going through. But they're closing out a cycle with someone else. A toxic cycle, nonetheless. Capricorn energy. We have Scorpio, Libra, Taurus. 
uh, their next actions towards you, the tower, there's some type of surprise. Surprise reconciliation. Give me one more card, please. The full, a new beginning, a surprise new beginning, reconciliation, a coming together, okay, is what I'm getting here. Signs you could be dealing with, again, Scorpio, Aries, Gemini, Aquarius, Capricorn, Taurus, Leo. Strong Scorpio. We also have Libra and Strong Taurus. They're hidden truth. They hide their feelings. That's why they're held back. They're trying to hide their feelings the way they feel about the situation. Give me one more. And then it's saying, I don't know how to feel. So that's, again, that protective energy. Like, they hide their feelings, but they don't know how to feel because they want to protect themselves. So I feel like they're trying to close themselves off from the way they feel. But, yeah, I mean, the heart wants what the heart wants. I don't see them being able to do that. They miss seeing you. Give me one more. I would do it all again. They don't want you to leave them behind, okay? There's an energy here of them seeing you giving up, them seeing you as the Ten of Swords. They feel you giving up on the situation. They feel you leaving them behind, okay, is what I'm getting. All right, Aquarius. The Cross Watcher section is in the description box below. You can get to the timestamp. We're going to move on to Singles. If you would like to bypass the shuffling of the singles, again, timestamps are located in the description box. So if you are a single Aquarius, single Aquarius, please. need to pull you one of these. Single Aquarius, please. Okay, you're on stage. You're very adored. You could be on stage here or you're just center of attention. Okay, that's why. So you have very attractive qualities, Aquarius. Beauty queen, dating queen. You have options coming in, Aquarius. Very attra attractive qualities. I'm getting you're very adored. You're shining. There's lots of opportunities coming in for you, Aquarius. Oh, my gosh. Uh, I'm seeing you going on dates. I'm seeing people want your attention. Okay, you could be receiving flowers or some type of gift. But there's a courting person coming towards you. Someone who wants to court you. Someone who wants to show you chivalry isn't dead. Okay. Uh, wow. <laughs> So you have some exciting things coming in for you. I'm also just getting opportunities in general or opening up for you, Aquarius. Some of you guys could be in the public eye, okay, or working on stage here. You're adored. I just get you're adored. Let's see. Okay, could be connecting with an Aries. Who is coming towards Aquarius? Who is coming towards Aquarius? The King of Wands is coming for you, Aquarius. Ooh, you're making it hard for him, though. You said, I'm a challenge. So you're not settling here. This person sees you as the Nine of Pentacles, that you're everything. Like, you're the whole package. They see you as someone who is self-sufficient. Okay, you're independent. They like that. Wow, they want to step up, guys. I see this heading somewhere here, okay? I really, I feel like there's going to be some quick communication that comes in out of nowhere, okay? With the Knight of Swords. This person wants to sweep you off your feet. But there's an energy here of you kind of pushing them away, like, not so fast. Not so fast, okay? It's telling me they have the qualities you're looking for. They're the King of Wands, the Nine of Cups. They're attractive. I'm getting like someone is conventionally attractive here. Um, they really do it for you. And you're manifesting this person with them being the Nine of Cups. They're a wish fulfilled. But why are you pushing them away here? 
you don't want to get ghosted or you're afraid of something being too um, unstable. I feel like you're just trying to keep your emotions stable here. You don't want to give in too quickly. It's just what it's giving me. Some of you guys are like wanting to remain emotionally held back to protect yourself. So you're just kind of in this place of like people need to earn your trust. I feel like you're coming across as independent and they have respect for that. They have a lot of respect for you for that Aquarius. Yeah, but they want you to open up. Somebody, and, and you know, they may want you to open up a lot quicker than your level of comfort is. Because I do feel like this person just kind of feels entitled to you opening up. Hmm. They're not used to this energy you're giving them. Why do they see Aquarius as the Ten of Pentacles? Some of you guys may have already experienced an end in, ending with this person, okay? Some of you, all right? But I'm also getting a message that this person just fears that. They fear that you, you know, you're non-committal. They fear that you're not interested in committing with them because you come across as like independent, shoving them away, uh, not wanting to give to the situation emotionally. But again, they feel very entitled very quickly to know more about you. But you have options, so I feel like that's another thing that this person's afraid of. They might know that you have options and they fear some type of betrayal or third-party situation. Well, I'm also getting like somebody doesn't want to annoy you. Like this person doesn't want to drain you or annoy you, but they want to. Sh they're trying to figure out a way to show you that they're invested and that they want you without being overbearing. But I'm getting this vibe of pushy. Like, somebody may come across as a little pushy to you in the future. Oh, but I see this headed... I see you in a relationship nonetheless, Aquarius. I feel like you're going to be either in a relationship or talking with someone where it's headed towards a relationship by the end of this year. You dealing with someone here in a, in a close... Getting very close to this person, okay? And what they want, well, they want it all with you. Could be a Gemini, an Aries, a Virgo, a Taurus. So I see you developing a strong bond with this person. Some of you guys are already aware of who it is. Like you've met them before, you've seen them before. All right, let's see. If you want to bypass the shuffling, you can go to the timestamp in the description box. We're going to do a um, crosswatcher segment here. So Aries through Pisces for Aquarius. Aries through Pisces. Aries through Pisces, please. All right, Aries through Pisces. So Aquarius, if you are dealing with an Aries, this Aries wants to commit, they see long term with you. Some of you single Aquarians, I do see an Aries or someone with a strong Aries placement coming in. If you're dealing with a Taurus, this Taurus is disappointed how things are working out between you two. I feel like they're doing some soul searching here. They're trying to figure out what it is they want. If you're dealing with a Gemini, this Gemini is mainly invested in their work. I feel like they're just trying to practice self-love right now, guys. This Gemini is just trying to get in touch with their own feelings. And um, with the King of Pentacles being here, they're just focused on work here. If you are dealing with a Cancerian, prepare for a surprise, okay? I see sudden communication. Yeah, look at that. The Tower, the Knight of Wands. Uh, this Cancer is going to spontaneously show back up into your life. They have plans to do so. You're dealing with a Leo. This Leo really wants you, Aquarius. You're their wish. You're dealing with a Virgo. 
you make this Virgo very excited, okay? Some of you guys, there's a new Virgo coming in. They're very excited to meet you. They're very excited to get to know you, very attracted to you, okay? If you've already been dealing with this Virgo, they want a fresh start. If you're dealing with a Libra, this Libra is closed off emotionally. I feel like this Libra may be in a... Uh, say it like a hoe phase or like this Libra is not ready to settle down. There's a part of them that wants to step up, but there's another part of them that wants to play the field. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, this is Scorpio wants your forgiveness. If you are dealing with a Sagittarius, they want you. Okay. You make them incredibly happy. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, this Capricorn wants you to take action. They want you to take action. If you're dealing with another Aquarius, they're giving you the silent treatment. I don't see them opening up this week. And if you do get communication from them, it's very surface level. They're hiding something from you. There is an Aquarius that might be hiding something or just being very secretive about something this week. If you're dealing with a Pisces, they want to talk. All right, Aquarius, those are your messages. I hope this provided you with some sort of clarity. If the messages were not for you this time, please do check your other signs. I also just did an all signs reading their feelings for you. If you guys want to go check that out on my channel. Um, thank you guys so much for hitting the like button. I really do appreciate your support. And until next time, Aquarius, bye.